In this video, I'm going to show you how to locally install a small model to produce a caption of an image. I'll be using a very small LLM, which will be only 14 million parameters from Salesforce to accomplish this task. And I'll be using AWS SageMaker Notebook instance for it. I'm already logged into my account and I have created this test one SageMaker Notebook instance, which is using one GPU. Uh, from NVIDIA. So the size is G4DN X large. I already have opened my SageMaker notebook. So let me give you all the steps and I will paste all of these steps into the video's description or I'll point you to that repository. So the first step is to import all of the Python packages and then also specifying the Hugging Face API key. If you don't have already the Hugging Face API key, all you need to do is to go to Hugging Face website, log in uh, with your email, or if you don't have your login there, just create a free login account with your email, then log in on the left hand side in your profile, go to access token, and then generate a new token or use your existing one. Come back to your um, notebook and then just store that Hugging Face API key in your variable. Let me do that. So this is how you need to specify your Hugging Face API key or token. Just replace this string with your own token. Once that's done, come back here into the next cell and then install the Transformer module. And let's wait for it to finish installation. Shouldn't take too long. So it is installing as you can see. So it has finished installing it, which is great. Now, this is where in the next cell, I am specifying the model I'm going to use, blip image captioning base, which is a very small 14 million parameter model. And I'm importing the pipeline from top. Let's uh, run it and it, it, it will be downloading the small model locally in this node. So let's wait for it to finish. The model has been downloaded and it only took around two minutes to download the whole model, which is awesome. Now this is the time to give this model our image and see if it is able to give us back the caption. I have obtained this image URL from free-images.com. So if you go to their website, you will you can find a lot of free images. And then I, I have selected this one. In order to grab its URL, just Go to right hand side on the view right click and copy link address once you have done it go back to your notebook and then replace this image url with this one so let me run this and then we'll see if it is able to give us the caption or not so it has obtained the image which is good okay so it has come back and this is the generated caption it says the milky so this is a milky way sort of over delicate arch and so it has been able to identify the arch though it has not it wasn't able to extract was it a rock or not because if you go to free images they have captioned it like something delicate arch sunset rock but i think <clears throat> this is not really a sunset i would say this is more of a milky way sort of thing plus the arch so it was very hard for this image to identify it no worries let let us grab maybe any other image from this website. I'm just let me grab maybe this one with sort of a path from a park. I'll just right click here, copy link address, going back to my notebook, and then now I'm giving this model another image. So run it again, it is able to grab the image a long road with tree lining the side i think this was perfect um this is amazing let's try out one last one maybe try out this one this key one i hope okay no i think that was an ad um so let me grab any other maybe this one and how about we go with the bit of a smallish image instead of um, 
the very very tiny one maybe it will have more context to it so let's run it it is able to grab the image which is great a small town with a church nice and mountains in the background how cool is that so this is how you can run it um, i will also drop the link to all of these commands in uh, in my blog and then i will drop the link of that blog to this video description so that you can run it in your own environment i hope that you like it if you uh, have any comments please drop them uh, below this video and please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much